Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and in this session of the video we are going to cover up the coenzyme, cofactors and the prostatic group. Students have gone through a lot of confusions regarding these concepts so I make sure to remove all those the misconceptions and make it as easy as possible and more informative and understandable. So let's get started with the word coenzyme. So don't get confused with the word coenzyme, coenzyme. So in English terms, if you see this one, this means something that is related to enzyme, that is attached to the enzyme, coenzyme. It means something is attached to the enzyme. In terms of English, do not bring it to the biochemistry. In the biochemistry, we have to go through a different definition, definition regarding coenzyme. So if you see a coenzyme as a heading, and a topic and you see other topics regarding the cofactor and prosthetic group and again the coenzyme don't get confused the coenzyme that is the heading is actually which actually which actually means something that is attached to the enzyme and coenzyme which is defined down below is actually uh, the organ protein which is the organic substance all right let's get to the biochemistry of the coenzyme now so the coenzyme is actually a non protein in this session, we're going down there. We're going to talk about the coenzyme. This is the line for the coenzyme. So the coenzyme is actually a non-protein organic substance. All enzymes are uh, actually non-protein organic substance, which is I'm sorry, I was talking about all enzymes. So which is actually usually derived from vitamin, especially the B complex. Uh, some examples include the NAD and FAD, and which is also called the coenzyme A. So uh, this is uh, regarding the coenzyme, but we have a really a new thing regarding the coenzyme. So coenzyme actually serve as a recyclable shuttle that transport substrate from one point within the cell to another. So what does that mean? Uh, the word shuttle actually, uh, shuttle, let me write down it, shuttle. The word shuttle means a carrier. You can say that a carrier. You know, uh, you you can use a bus as a shuttle to move around the city. So it it means a shuttle means a carrier. So according to the definition, uh, the coenzyme actually serve as a recyclable, which means we can use it again. Shuttles the transport substrate. This is the substrate. Anything. Uh, this is this is the substrate. Uh, actually, serve as a substrate from one point within the cell to another. So this is the basic concept and this is very important concept regarding the coenzyme, very specific about that word. So it works in two ways, the uh, sh shuttle thing. The first is it first stabilizes the species, you know, such as FADH. Second thing, they serve as an adopter. They serve as an adopter or handle that facilitate the recognition and binding of small chemical groups such as acetate coenzyme. All right, you pretty get the whole idea. So this is the apoenzyme without the coenzyme. The coenzyme is going to attach itself. Then this, uh, uh, this becomes holoenzyme and the substrate attaches itself. And this is how it helps. And in other case, I haven't shown here, it works also as a shuttle, which means the transportation of the substrate. Now let's move towards the prostatic group. So this is the prostatic. I hope the coenzyme is clear. It's an, uh, it's actually an organic part. All right. Now let's move toward the prostatic group. So prostatic group are actually tightly and stably incorporated into a protein structure by a covalent or non-covalent forces. So mostly the covalent uh, covalent bond is used, you know, in order to explain the prosthetic group, because, which means uh, a, a coenzyme, don't confuse this coenzyme, I'm using the word English coenzyme. Coenzyme or the non-proteinous part attaches itself with a proteinous part and uh, in, in if we're using a covalent bond or you can we can say that using a strong bond. So some example we have in this thing is F MN that is the fla uh, uh, that is we have got a femin and we have the complete flavor protein and plus NAD and this and uh, one thing more to add up in the prosthetic group there we have also the metal ion constitution you know in the prosthetic area uh, the more than one third of the constituent of prosthetic group are actually metalloenzyme metallo 
enzyme. More than the one third of the prostatic group are the metallic example are the most of the example are iron, copper, cobalt, magnesium, magnesium, zinc. We are going to talk about metallo enzyme and meta uh, metal activated enzyme in just another video. But uh, to just grasp the idea that the prosthetic group and the uh, coenzyme and cofactor in this in this video. Uh, now let's talk about the cofactors. So cofactors are similar. You know, all all are they similar? They function in similar way, but they have got little or no difference at all. So cofactors are non-protein inorganic substance, according to the. Uh, uh, some uh, you know um, some websites they are also organic but uh, if you follow the textbook if you're a medical student if you're going to follow a textbook several several textbooks uh, you you would be confirmed that uh, they are only inorganic substances so they work similar as the prosthetic group but they bind in dissociable manner this has to be clear that they do not bind so tightly as the prosthetic group like in the prosthetic group they are bind, bound tightly with them all the time but in the case of the cofactor they are not bind bond uh, they are tightly they are dissociable manner like they can be removed and they can be added so they all all they are all the time they are present in the medium like you can add up the cofactor in the medium it's not necessary to be to be attached to the enzyme as you can find in the, in the medium and when they are required they go to attach themselves to the uh, enzyme and uh, perform their function so the most uh, common um, uh, uh, cofactors are the metal activated enzyme in the next lecture we're going to talk about the difference between the metal enzymes and the metal activated enzymes so i hope you, i have cleared the whole concept regarding coenzyme cofactor and prosthetic group and this is all about this and this lecture and please make sure to comment us and let us know what would you like to learn about any topic we make sure to make it easy as possible thank you keep visiting tag to schooling